Lesson 6.2b, Calculating Unit Rates. A unit rate is a rate in which the second quantity is one unit. The unit may be in ounces, pounds, quarts, liters, meters, miles, etc. And the unit rate will represent one of them. If we have 248 miles traveled in four hours, this is our rate. Our unit rate would be 62 miles in one hour. We could do 248 divided by 4 to get the 62. When the first quantity in a unit rate is an amount of money, the unit rate is sometimes called a unit price or unit cost. And rates can be read as for every or for each. So for a 6 ounce yogurt, we'll pay 12 cents for each ounce. That's the unit price, the unit rate. It's the price per ounce. Dave bought the City of Ember box set of books. There are four books in the set. If Dave paid $22 for the set, what was the price per book? So he paid $22 for the four books. Our rate is $22 for four books. We need to find the price for one book. We can divide 22 divided by 4, $22 divided by 4. We do our math and our division and our subtraction, and we see that it's $5.50. That means it's $5.50 for one book. We divide the $22 by 4, and we divide the four books by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So to find the unit rate, we divide both quantities in the rate by the same number. In this case, it's a 4, so that the second quantity is a 1. So we know the unit price for the book is $5.50. Bob hiked a trail for 2 and 8 tenths miles in 40 minutes. How far did Bob hike per minute? So we know how far he went in 40 minutes. We need to find per minute. That means 1 minute. Our rate is 2 and 8 tenths miles in 40 minutes. This is our rate. We can divide 2 and 8 tenths by 40. We're going to have to add zeros as placeholders, aren't we? Because 40 can't fit into 2, so we have a zero there, and 40 can't fit into 28, so we have a zero there, and that's a whole number, so we just brought the decimal point straight up, didn't we? And 40 can fit into 280, seven times, and 40 times seven is 280. We subtract it zero, we know it's seven hundredths. So to find the unit rate of one minute, we divide both quantities in the rate by 40, so the second quantity is a one. Two and eight tenths divided by 40, and 40 divided by 40. So we know Bob hiked seven hundredths of a mile in one minute. That was his unit rate. Tala bought 15 donuts for $6.75. What is the cost per donut? So we need to find the price for one donut, because remember, per means each. That's each donut. It's one donut. Here's our rate. We have $6.75 over the 15 donuts. We're going to divide both the numerator and denominator by 15. $6.75 divided by 15 is 45 cents. And 15 divided by 15 is 1. Our second number is a 1. The unit rate is 45 cents. So we know each donut costs 45 cents. Again, to find the unit rate, we divide both quantities in the rate by the same number, in this case 15, that was the denominator, so that the second quantity is a 1. It can be very confusing trying to write the rate from the word problem. Our rate for our donut problem was the money amount over the number of donuts because we were looking for one donut. We had 15 donuts. This entire thing is the rate. Our unit rate is 45 cents for one. So if you see cost per donut, remember per means each, it means one. So cost for one donut. This cost that comes before the word per, that's our numerator, and donut 
comes after the word per, that's going to be our denominator. If we saw miles per hour, the word miles is coming before the word per, so that's our numerator, and hour is coming after the word per, so that's going to be our denominator. And because fractions are division problems, we do $6.75 divided by 15, and that gives us our unit rate. So now we've finished the second part of 6.2. We're going to go on to the last part. We're going to do some word problem solving with unit rates. I hope this video helps you understand the examples in the book. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.